Hello all, welcome to Wise Beacon. While most of the places in the world have legends and stories that have been told over time and therefore believed to be true, there is one place that was deemed haunted for years. We are talking about Jatinga in Assam, which is a tribal village. For the longest time, there was a phenomenon prevalent here and that was called as bird suicide. The birds would fly in one direction towards the light and then drop dead. What is this bird suicide phenomenon? What is the reason behind it? Let's get into the video to find out about the same. Jatinga is a small village in Dima Hasau district in Assam. With incredible and lush views of nature, this place is all about knowing and exploring the essence of incredible India. However, what differentiates Jatinga from any other normal travel gateway is the bird suicide mystery. According to the story, it is believed that the birds from several geographical locations come here not to mate, migrate or do something else but to commit suicide. Over the hundred years, thousands of birds have flown to their death over a small strip of land in Jatinga. Just after the sunset, between 7 and 10 pm, hundreds of birds descend from the sky plummeting to their deaths by crashing into the building and trees. Since birds aren't known to be suicidal, this phenomenon has baffled villagers, visitors and scientists alike. Okay, what's the reality behind these suicides? For many years, the local villagers used to believe that evil spirits are behind these cruel happening. It became so popular that people would come here to see this phenomenon and the story of the place being haunted spread far and wide. As modern day science has progressed, many ornithologists who are someone who studies and is an expert on birds, are of the opinion that birds like kingfishers, pawn heron, tiger bittern are subjected to such strange behavior. It has also been noted that most of the birds commit suicide in Jatinga during the late monsoon season as several of the water bodies are flooded by that time, due to which the birds tend to lose their home and have to migrate to some other place and Jatinga is in their migratory path. According to the locals, the bird looks somewhat dazed, disoriented and end up crashing into trees, lights and buildings. Okay, is there any scientific reason behind this? The scientists theorize that this was due to the disorientation of the birds at high altitudes. The fog make it worse. The villages had bamboo poles and the birds when disturbed by the high velocity would fly towards the light source, get hit by the bamboo poles and get injured or die. This has resulted in the decline of several birds in the area, but steps have been taken by conservationists to educate the villagers. They also have informed them that it is not due to some spirit that is haunting the village and the birds can be saved from dying. Catapults were also used to bring down the birds in flight as well as those perching on trees and bushes near the light sources. Under circumstances not fully explained, these birds get caught in the fog and wind get disoriented and seek solace of the light sources put out by the villagers. Lights placed along the southern side of the village have failed to attract any birds. Many studies say that most birds die during the months of September to November because during this time, water bodies in Assam are flooded and the birds lose their natural habitat. Their nests get broken down and so it becomes mandatory for them to migrate to other places. This phenomenon, avian harakiri, as the locals call it, was first observed by the Zemi Nagas, the, the inhabitant tribe of the region in the early 1900s. It frightened them so badly that they sold their land to Jaintias and left the place in 1905. In 1988, when Assam had faced severe floods, the maximum number of suicides were noted down during those times. However, what's curious was the long distance migratory birds weren't affected by this phenomenon at all. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Please give a like, comments, and a And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you.